Hello and welcome to another video tutorial of Archimatics. Today we're going to take a look at a self-intersecting shape uh, and to see how we can make a tunnel out of that. We're going to use the free curve node and we're going to draw in plan. So let's go ahead to a XZ orthographic view and we create the free node, uh, free curve node and start drawing um, the plan of our tunnel system. Um, you can keep modifying this as much as you want, even after we have a 3D object. Here we've got a Bezier uh, point that we've created. And that uh, looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and make this into something that can become a 3D tunnel. So I'm going to add a thickness in the um, output shape controls. And you can make this um, as thick as you like, and then keep on editing the curve thereafter. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn this into a 3D form. To do this, we need a section shape. So the section could be anything from the 2D library or something you draw with another free curve. Uh, I'm just going to grab this um, sort of molding profile wall section that's in the library. And the plan shape, I'm going to feed into the uh, plan sweep node. And then uh, add the wall section. And sure enough, we have our 3D object. Um, right now, it's an external object. So I'm going to open up the controls for the plan sweep and add back faces. That automatically assumes that the you want the ceiling or the top cap to be um, facing the other way. And I added the bottom cap for the floor. And the wall section would be better if it was flipped the other way. That way, we'd get our molding, uh, sort of crown molding going on the inside. And um, yeah, so there we have it. Uh, we can still edit the plan as much as we like. We can edit the section shape as much as we like, uh, add more intersections, but we can see that everything's resolving pretty well.